Hey fellow guitar players, today I'm gonna explain to you the guitar solo for Within Temptations covered by Roses. Maybe you've watched some of my previous guitar lessons and maybe you have noticed that Within Temptation songs aren't always in the most comfortable keys for a guitar player that is. This song however is in the very very nice and warm comfortable key of E minor. This song is always really fun to play live and the audience usually goes crazy on it and there's a really challenging guitar solo in it. I must admit I didn't always nail it but you know most of the times you know when I had a good day it was really fun to play and uh, I think this is uh, quite a challenging guitar solo for you guys as well. I have talked about arpeggios in the past and this opening lick is an arpeggio and it's the arpeggio of E minor or E minor 7 to be precise. In my previous lesson I finally, I finally admitted I'm guilty, I love slides. And in my previous lesson, I was explaining the guitar solo for the new song Ratio Banner. I was talking about a pedal note. And apparently it's fun that I'm recording these, these YouTube lessons because it gives me a chance to, you know, finally analyze my own playing. And apparently I also love pedal notes because the next part is a pedal note lick. And for the people who haven't watched that lesson, you can watch it here. I play a little melody around this note. Next part is a little string bend. With some pull-offs. I've also already explained that I really like to play the same note, the same pitch, but on different strings so that you get a little bit of a different sound to it. Because this note, that E, sounds a bit different when I play it on the G string. And I've incorporated that into this lick. Could have also done this. There's a little bit of a difference. Try to hear it. Or. It's a very subtle difference, but I always like to, you know, to, to see if I can spice things up with these small details. It, it's usually a pretty big difference, in my ears at least. The next lick is kind of a scale. And as you can hear, I use the palm mute technique for that one. We are already almost at the end of the solo. This last part contains a lot of double stops. And I think I've explained what a double stop is already in the past. But it's when you play two different strings. And in guitar world, it's usually the case that one of the notes, the lower note, you play a string band so that it becomes a unison, the same note. So, as you can hear, when I play the two strings, I slowly bend the lower one so that it becomes the same note. I play four double stops. Maybe you've noticed that on the G and the B string there's one fret in between and on the B and the E string there are two frets in between and that is because the guitar is tuned, you know, this is a perfect fourth but this is a major third so anyways, I don't want to go into these kind of details um, but make sure that, that you play the, the correct notes there. Another thing that I like to do is play a little bit sloppy, might not be the correct word, but 
if you play something like this to clean, then it sounds maybe a little bit too sterile. I don't know, but of course it's a matter of taste. But what I tend to do in this guitar solo is, yeah, I, I, I try to add some dirtiness to it. <laughs> You know, sometimes it's not even bad, it's not wrong to play some open strings a bit bit sloppy. I, I tend to to do that a lot because it gives more of a human vibe and it, it becomes more organic in my ears. And the last lick contains a lot of pull-offs. Maybe you could say that this lick also contains a pedal note because I always pull off to the open E string. And the solo ends with a nice high string bend to the root of the key, so that's the high E, the highest note that you can play on the guitar, more or less. So that's it for this solo. It's not a long solo, it's quite short actually, but I think it can be quite challenging, especially if you play it on the original tempo, which is uh, 120 beats per minute. And um, I always had fun playing it live. I must admit that I was also sometimes a bit nervous for this one because it contains a lot of slides and, and position shifting and you know that just doesn't always go well in my case at least um, nevertheless I always had fun and I still have fun playing it live now I'm gonna play this solo slowly for you guys it's 100 beats per minute and I've added some taps I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did consider liking this video and subscribing because I'm gonna do a lot more videos in 2019 and you know press the bell button so that you get uh, notifications whenever I upload a new video and um, yeah for now see you later take care and bye bye <laughs>